gotta get the thumbnail. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Avery here, bring you guys camera inception. <laughs> bring you guys a review of the Nintendo Switch. You can see off the glare all my fingerprints. <laughs> but I wanted to bring you guys this review today um, instead of waiting tomorrow to do it just because I wanted to get it out of the way and I didn't give you guys an unboxing unfortunately so I do apologize about that. Um, I ended up, so if you didn't see my video from a couple days ago um, then I'll just give you a long story short. I ordered my Switch from the UK, got cancelled, Ended up having to go to my local Target. I really wanted to make sure I got one, so I ended up waking up this morning at 6.15, and then I was there by 6.30, and I waited an hour and a half in a basically a two-man line. I was third in line, and then like six or seven other people showed up behind me at 8 a.m., and they had like 12 to 14 Nintendo Switches, so everybody ended up getting one, but I was like, I could have slept in. <laughs> but regardless, I've been playing the Switch all day. I feel like I have a good grasp of it, and I want to talk to you guys about this. So as you can see right now, the screen is off. Um... This is obviously in its tablet state, um, as I'm sure most of you are all aware now by this point. If you want to not play on the tablet, then all you got to do is put it in the dock, and then you're able to play on a big TV screen. Um, one thing I have noticed with the Switch is that uh, the right Joy-Con here is fairly secure. This one, uh, not so much, because in order to detach the joy cons you hit this back button right here you hold that down and you're able to uh, pull it off and you're able to play with this separately you can also play with the joy cons detached on the tablet which is really nice um, so it's just the left joy con um, the right one is very secure and what's cool too is that whenever you re-put these on, if that's even a word, whenever you put these on uh, your Nintendo Switch, it actually makes that you know snapping sound from like you know the Nintendo Direct and all that, or the live stream or whatever, which is a really cool touch. I really do appreciate that. Um, it does have a good bit of weight to it. I'm sure that you've seen other YouTubers talk about how it does have a good bit of weight to it. I relate this to a little bit of a heavier and bigger PS Vita. If you've ever played a Vita, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, obviously, not the same setup with the uh, controls here, but still feels very good just to you know sit here and play. I mean, it, it feels very, very good. Um, to just power it on for you guys just to show you the UI. You push the power button, which is up here. And boom, there you go. And then if you want to load up the game, you just tap a button three times. Hit it three times. And just like that, you're playing Legend of Zelda. My camera's probably not doing it much good. But there you can see it right there. And then you've got uh, these on the bottom here. You've got all your... Uh, you know, things that you need, like news and messages and all that cool stuff. Um, a very, very clean user interface, I have to say. There's not a lot of junk on the screen. You know, you've got your game slots where you see, like, Breath of the Wild, and then you go over and do, um, you've got other boxes for, uh, you know, games and whatnot. Um, just looks very, very pretty, I guess. Um, and to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about, whenever you want to shut it off, you just hold down this home button right here, you hold that down, go under power options, and then you turn it off. Now, if you want to insert a game, you would go right here, you open this up, and then the cartridge pops out. Um, one thing that I noticed is that the cartridges, it's not very hard to get these in, uh, but what I am noticing is that it's kind of hard to pull them out at first. Um, and the cartridges, I don't know, I would say that they're fairly smaller than DS cartridges. Um, so it is definitely easy to lose these. I would definitely say, I mean, you can already tell just from looking at it from a distance, it's very small. I would say for sure, definitely have like a carrying case with you for these, or even just put them straight back in the game disc, um, or the, you know, the case holder form. The case holders kind of, to me, look like almost like small DVDs, um, which is an interesting way to kind of hold them which, you know, isn't a good or a bad thing, just something that I noticed. Um, but they go in very well. Um, definitely no issues there. I will say that the kickstand is not as good as people make it out to be. It seemed very flimsy. 
Um, I'm always afraid that it's gonna, you know, bust on me. And like you just saw right there, I barely moved my hand on the Joy-Con and it popped up. So then I have to slide it back in. And I hear it click and everything, and it's still kind of. Eh. So it's definitely something to watch out for. But you know, people who complain about the left Joy-Con, you can always get a Pro controller to fix that. Um, and even whenever I have it in the little, you know, controller thing that has like, you know, the sidebars. Whenever the thing that comes with the tablet and then the other thing, it works just fine in that. Um, I've had no issues with pairing, nothing like that. Um, the, overall, the console runs very well. Breath of the Wild plays very well. I would show you some gameplay, but I don't want to get copyright striked by uh, Nintendo. But overall, for the price of $300, being able to take a AAA experience with you on the go is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. I think it is worth every penny. If you're picking this up for Zelda, I definitely suggest that you do. There's other great games coming out on the system, such as Sonic Mania and Project Sonic 2017. Uh, that should definitely be picked up as well. Then we also have Super Mario Odyssey coming out in December of 2017. Uh, so that's also another great game. Now, if you're strictly picking this up to play Zelda, if you were to not get any other games for the Switch, right, it's, it's definitely an investment. And it's something that I suggest you not do if you only want to play Zelda. However, if you are excited to play games like Super Bomberman R, uh, Speed RMX, whatever that game is, it's like something RMX, which looks pretty dope. Um, one, two, switch, hey, no one's excited to play that. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Super Mario Odyssey and Sonic Mania and all that. If you're excited to play those games as well, I definitely suggest picking up a Switch now because it is going to be very hard to find in the future. I don't really think you need a Pro Controller. If you want to drop the 70 bones on it, go for it. Um, I might pick one up at some point, but as of right now, I'm completely fine with just, you know, the tablet and, um, you know, just using the regular controller that it comes with. Um, and something else I want to mention, too, if you want to charge these Joy-Cons, you have to put these on the tablet and put the tablet in the charger. There, That way it will charge both the Joy-Cons and the tablet. Um, it does have a sleep mode. I thought that was the way you turned it off. It's not. That's when I found out looking online. You hold down the power button and then you you know go to power options and turn it off. Um, that way you know it will obviously save the battery and stuff. Um, but for $300, I think that this is definitely a good buy. Um, just don't order yours from the UK like I tried to do or else your order is going to get cancelled unless you've already confirmed everything with your banking and then it might not get here till like December. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it also has the headphone jack. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there is the headphone jack. That's everything right there. you got your volume up and volume down next to the power button there. you got your L and R buttons here and here and here and here. And of course, one more look on this side. Definitely not easy to hold with one hand, but feels very, very good. Like I said, I relate it to a large PlayStation Vita. You know, you might not see people like this around all the time. Well, hell, who am I kidding? You're going to see people walking around like this playing on their Switches. They're going to, like, whip out their Switch, like, you know, out of nowhere and just, like, start playing. So that's about it I have for my review for you guys. Um... I wanted to try and keep this short and sweet since I'm sure you've probably seen plenty of these on YouTube with plenty more views than mine. Um, but I just want to get my two cents out there because I have pretty much been playing my Switch all day. I've been playing Zelda all day. Zelda's been a lot of fun. A lot of running around because unfortunately I don't have the Apana amiibo. So I'm not able to just spawn in a horse wherever and run around. So I am. it is taking me a while to get from place to place. Like I'm about six hours in and uh, I, I don't feel like I've even scratched the surface on this game. So And normally I'm able to kind of push pretty good into a Zelda game uh, in about six hours, and I feel like I haven't even made a dent in this game, and I beat games fast. So, But other than that, let me know what you guys think about the Switch. I absolutely love this thing. I mean, the fact, like I said, the fact that I can take a AAA experience with me on the go and just, you know, make it so seamless to put this in the dock, play it on a full screen TV whenever I feel like. I can be out with my buddies, you know, I could be at Top Golf here in Jacksonville. If you live in Jacksonville, you know what I'm talking about. I can play on my Nintendo Switch, hang out with my buddies, have a couple of drinks, Go up, shoot some golf, sit back down, play on my Switch, go home, put it in the dock, and keep on playing. And just, it's great. It's another one of those things that you're going to probably take with you wherever you go. Kind of like people used to do with the Game Boy back in the day, just so that you have something that you could just pick up and play. You know, turn off the screen, put it in sleep mode. It, you don't even have to save your game and just, you know, put it away. Like how the Joy-Con just did that again. And you're just, you're all set to go. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like and favorite button. Be sure to comment down below what you think about the Switch, and I will see you guys in the next video.